So what should we do for this project, guys? This is it's going to be a good one. One of the groups last time did food. That was pretty cool. Yeah, man. I don't know how we're going to top that flank steak. Oh, it was indeed delicious. Lila should make more of those cookies. Would you look at the size of that spider? It's so big! I'll kill it! Wait! Don't kill me! I can help you with your Ghana presentation. Ah! A talking spider! Kill it with fire and holy water! Wait, 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 guys. This spider's trying to help us with our presentation. Yeah, how, how can you help us? One of the great heroes of my people is from Ghana. He is called a Nazi. A Nazi? Not the Sieg Heil guy, but you know. I can tell you some stories of his exploits. Guys, this is a talking spider. We can't trust it. Shut up, shut up. Tell us about a Nazi. Once in a before time, there lived an old woman who had magical powers. Her name was Five. She was also so evil that some people called her a witch. Five hated her name. No one knows why her parents named her the number Five. When she was a child, other children would make fun of her name. Sometimes when she was within earshot, they would look out of the corner of their eyes and giggle as they said, Give me Five. They would slap their hands with a quick handshake and burst out laughing. This taunting always made Five angry. When she grew up, Five decided to put an end to the name-calling, so she created a weird spell. Make fun of my name, will you? I'll show you, my pretty. Frogs and snails and puppy dog tails. That should do the trick. <laughs> A crafty spider named Anansi lived in Five's village. He had heard about the witch's spell. Anansi went to the road that led to the village's marketplace. He chose a spot on the side of the road where everyone on the way to market would have to pass. What's up, brother Doug? Oh, hey, brother. How you doing? Good, man. You know, I, I dropped my shoes and, you know, I, I can't count. Could you help me count them? Brother, you should have learned to count when you was in school. Count them yourself. The next person to come by was Brother Bull. Good evening, Brother Bull. Hey, Brother Nazi. Hey, could you spare a minute? You uh, know, as a kid, I was neglected, and I didn't learn my ABCs. Could you help me count my shoes? Oh, that is so sad. Of course I'll help you. You've got one, two, three, four, five. As he said that number, Brother Bull disappeared into thin uh. air. Mrs. Guinea Fowl was a nice young mother of newly hatched children. She could not say no to anyone. She and her husband shared the chore of selling their produce in the village. That day it was her turn to go to the marketplace. She loaded up her hand basket and headed for the market. Good morning, Miss Guinea Fowl. Um, could you help me... Count my shoes. Of course, Anansi, my dear. How can I help you? Could you count my shoes? You have one, two, three, four, and the one I'm standing on. Wait, no, that's not, that's not how you count. Well, what do you mean, Anansi? Never heard of a number called the one I'm standing on. Try again. You have one. Help me, my dear. One, two, three, 
four, four, and the one I'm standing on. No, no, that's not how you do it. That's not how you count. Well, if you're so smart, you do it yourself. It goes one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Suddenly, Anansi disappeared, leaving Mrs. Guinea Fowl with all the loot that he had gotten from tricking his victims. Well, that's pretty good, but we've still got a couple minutes to work with in this presentation. Yeah, well, what else you got for us? Once in a before time, Anansi was walking far into the bush. Soon he came to a house with a very, very, very old man sitting inside the mouth of the front door. Uh, good day, sir. Can I trouble you for a drink of water? Uh, good day, sir. Can I trouble you for a drink of water? Good morning, sir. Can I trouble you for a drink of water? What's that? You said just let yourself in and have whatever you want? Anansi walked past the old man and went into his house and not only helped himself to ice cold water, but to as much food as he could eat. The next day Anansi went to the house of the old man and again ate his fill. Still the old man said nothing to Anansi. On the third day, Anansi the spider brought his eldest daughter to the old man's house. Since you've been so kind and fed me all these, all these days, I've brought my beautiful, beautiful daughter here to be your wife. She wants to be a cook. Uh, so, yeah, she'll be your wife. Uh, let's go and make, make your dad a nice plate of food. Come on. The next day, Anansi got up early. Morning, morning. He headed for the old man's house. The old man had not moved and was still sitting by his door. Anansi said his good morning and entered the house. He called for his daughter, but she did not answer. Anansi rushed outside the house and grabbed the old man by the collar. Where's my daughter? Do you know who I am? You're my son-in-law. I am death. And to complicate matters, you have brought your ugly daughter with you. I have eaten her, and now I will eat you for lunch. Anansi tore the buttons from his shirt, slipped out of it, and ran for his life. He ran as fast as he could in the belief that he could easily outdistance an old man like Brother Death. You made it. Uh, Brother Death, I'm so, I'm so fat from eating all your food that I would, I would really taste better breaded. Uh, you should really go to my kitchen and get some flour. You can make this happen, yeah. That is a good idea. You wouldn't be tricking me, would you? No, no, not at all. No, no, no. I'm talking to a Nazi here. I shall get the flour. Get it. Death has never caught a Nazi the spider. That is why there are Anansi stories to this day. So you're telling me that Anansi is basically a Ghanaian troublemaker? Oh, like a folktale? Are there more stories about Anansi? Yes, on the internet. Oh, did you find these stories on the internet, spider? Yes. Now, we could have done this ourselves. What's what's your name anyway, Spider? It, it it's Lawrence. You know, 
That kind of reminded me of you, mate. 